A warning to parents this morning, a father sharing the struggle that his family has been going through as his four year old continues to fight a serious illness tied to COVID-19. Liza Lucas is following this devastating story and Liza, we've covered cases of, you know, this illness before. What do you know about this one? Well, when you hear stories like what Quincy Poole Jr. is going through this little four year old, it certainly hits home. He has been at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta for the past month dealing with multi-system inflammatory syndrome and the effects of that. We're talking about MISC, as you mentioned, we talked about so many times before. In his case, the condition his dad said attacked his organs, led to the point where his arms were so swollen he had to have surgery. Now he's having to relearn how to use his hands. A cardiologist told me my son was like the top 3% in the country. One of the top 3% of the worst cases of MISC they ever seen. Now he's on the mend, but his family says they never tested positive for COVID-19 or showed symptoms. But the four-year-old did test positive for antibodies, meaning he'd been exposed at some point. Now MISC is rare, but doctors urge parents to know the signs so you can get that treatment quickly, get those interventions in place. Those signs include abdominal pain, vomiting, rash, all can be a sign of MISC and a reason to call your pediatrician. Now the more serious ones include trouble breathing, prolonged chest pain, confusion, inability to stay awake, and serious stomach pain. Those need immediate medical attention. That's a reason to go to the ER and get your child checked out pronto. Now, as vaccinations continue to unfold and become more and more commonplace, doctors still urge parents to keep up those safety precautions we've been talking about since the very beginning of the pandemic and also avoid crowds. That's going to help reduce your child's chance of exposure. Bran. Liza, thank you.